Let's talk about rosemary, a powerful antiviral agent. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. I want to talk about rosemary as a powerful antiviral agent. And, you know, this goes back for thousands of years in use in the Romans and the Greeks and just about everybody in Europe used it. And it's a powerful antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and on and on. It helps with disease. And it contains caffetic acid, which contains rosemaric acid, rosmanic acid, and uh, all kinds of different things. And there's a huge amount of studies showing that it really does a great job in helping lots of different things. A uh, study in Virology Journal in 2019 showed that Rosmanic acid actually was a powerful agent that could reduce infection and complications. So, really amazing stuff. A new study in 2019, Journal of Applied Sciences, Therapeutic Potential of Rosmanic Acid, showed that it actually had antimicrobial capabilities, uh, anti-cancer capabilities, anti-diabetic, uh, protects the heart, liver, a nervous system, kidneys, and helps with aging, and more and more and more. I mean, it's just amazing. In 2017 study, uh, scientific reports actually showed that it actually helped with uh, stopping the attachment of viruses to cells and the entry into cells and the replication in cells. So, in multiple ways that inhibited viruses. Wow, great. Study in 2007 journal of antimicrobe agents actually showed that uh, these agents actually decreased the viral load and de decreased inflammation also. In 2015, current medical chemistry showed that these agents actually lowered the viral ro load for those who had HIV. So, wow, really good. It can be used in combination with other things also. A study in 2015 journal of restorative medicine showed actually beneficial for all kinds of things, including antiviral, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, boosts up your immune system, uh, lots of antioxidant capabilities, and actually eliminated the expression of viable proteins in the body and to help to prevent and reduce the replication. And in animal studies, they actually did the animal studies, and 12 out of 15 actually got better from viral attacks. So, Really, a pretty amazing stuff. A study in 2018 uh, in PLOS, actually many universities working together, actually showed that uh, rosemary could help with hepatitis B replication uh, of infected cells. So, pretty amazing. A study in 2018 in uh, immunotherapy showed that all viruses, all viruses they worked with, and they worked with some really potent ones also, uh, were impacted by the caffetic and rosemaric acids, so amazing. Another one, 2017 antiviral research showed that rosemaric acid uh, had a profound effect upon reducing lung injury caused by viral infections, so amazing stuff. And there's a lot of different things. I could go on and on and on for hours, actually, uh, talking about different studies. A dose in whole leaves, you have this, we have this in our yard here. Oh, there's just a smell of rosemary, it's just so wonderful. And it actually, the dose in traditional uses, you can chop up the, the little leaves and crush them up. And normally anywhere from two to four grams, that's a, a 2,000 to 4,000 milligrams. <laughs> Somebody got mixed up the other day <laughs> with my antiviral tea, but too much uh, vitamin C in there. Uh, so that's talking about grams and infused in water. And rosemary leaf is approved by the uh, German Commission E also uh, for all kinds of things, including high blood pressure and rheumatism. And they recommend a dose from four to six grams a day. You can make tea or you can cook with it. You can all kinds of, kinds of things. You know, uh, rosemary potatoes are wonderful. Rosemary sweet potatoes are even great. All kinds of dishes. Uh, rosemary, yeah, most merry uh, gluten-free bread, bread or uh, in corn, iron corn wheat bread made with rosemary. Wow, really great stuff. All kinds of things. Also, 
rosemary essential oil for aromatherapy. Uh, three to four drops inhaled is really great, really good for the body. Extracts, two to four mils, two or three times a day. That works really great also. You can make your own extracts using, you know, a little bit of vodka. <laughs> also, rosemary acid is safe and effective for humans. And consumption dose anywhere from uh, 50 milligrams to 500 milligrams daily. So, what's rosemarinic acid, rosemarinic acid. And you can find that on Amazon and eBay and a lot of different places. Also, forms, you can get it as powders, you can get it in oils, and you can get it in the capsules. Finding on Amazon and eBay, your local health food store, you can find this, you know, probably growing in somebody's yard. Also, they probably don't even know what it is sometimes. I remember when I lived in Monterey, California, it grew everywhere. It was all over the place. And uh, you just trim off a bunch and take it home. Also, uh, side effects for it, no, a little dermatitis, a little allergy uh, once in a while, really not much. Uh, most people don't have any problems with it whatsoever. But those who are in nursing or pregnant or small children, I recommend not to use it. In general, that's a normal thing. Also, I highly recommend for right now to use 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C every day also, 2,000 international units of vitamin D every day, and also 25 milligrams of zinc every day. This is very important. 3,000 milligrams of uh, vitamin C every day, 2,000 international units of vitamin D every day, and 25 milligrams of zinc every day. And so that's really super important. And then add in some of these other things I've been talking about, like rosemary, which can help in a great way. So allow yourself to partake of some of these wonderful antivirals. If you want to get a hold of me, my uh, all my contact information is at the down below. Or you can hit show more or at the end of the video. Or you can uh, ask a couple questions. That's great. If you want to do a consultation, I ask for a $50 donation and we can get you on a road to becoming extremely healthy like me. And we can also, if you want to learn a little bit more about, you know, staving off viruses and that type of thing, you let me know and we can uh, work together on that too. Have a wonderful day. Remember two things. Remember God and remember, I love you.